Hey guys, my name is Lou and welcome to a new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay commentary. So today we're playing on the map Recovery and playing some team deathmatch with the BAL27 or the BAL, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, and we are actually using the Carbon, which is a quite nice gun but or weapon, but the thing is that it has a bunch of recoil. So sometimes when you're aiming down sights, you're going to have to rapid click or you know just keep clicking the shoot button rather than just holding it. So as you guys can see in this gameplay, it was actually really close to actually going on like a 10 streak. I really wanted to go on a uh, or get a DNA bomb, but that didn't happen sadly because I was killed a bunch of times. But yeah, I just decided to actually upload this because I did pretty good at the beginning. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is why I haven't been uploading. And the first reason why is because the very first week um, that I went on vacation to see my family, I actually uploaded one video. But the next week, it was unintended that we were actually going to fly there again on the same place to actually see family again. I didn't have any pre-recordings or anything like that. And it was in really short notice, so I didn't have any time to do anything. So pretty much, I'm going to talk to you guys about my airplane experiences flying there. So the first flight, when we got there, I was really airsick and just, I, I didn't feel like flying. So in the first five minutes, it started going into clouds and, you know, it was raining already. So the plane started shaking and I was holding on to the sides where you lean. I was just holding on to that because I was just really scared and I was just really airsick. And I saw a girl in front um, just resting her head on the shoulder of her dad. So I was like, oh shoot, we might crash. So that same exact thing happened right when we got back. But the very first fight, right when we left the actual plane, there's a, a flight attendant in the very front who said to this one boy who was around two or three years old, who he, he had like this hat on with, uh, I think it was made out of like some sort of animal skin, but it had like crocodile teeth, I think, around the whole hat. This is exactly what he said, okay? Thanks for your money, bud. Really, like, why would you say that to a guy? Like, they're obviously not gonna come back. And his mom was holding her hand and saw everything and heard everything. So it's just really rude, and I can't believe my attendant said that. So another thing is actually going to be about my dreams of uh, actually playing basketball. So I've had these dreams lately. I think it might have been a lucid dream. And I think I've had a lucid dream before. And I believe the description of a lucid dream is actually where you can control a dream. So pretty much I was, I felt like I was walking. I could control things quite well. So this one time I remember this vividly. For whatever reason, I was in school walking out of class to get my iPad. And it was in my locker. And I remember, I think it might have been at my house. I remember like running or something, but I'm not sure. But yeah. So this dream was actually during a basketball game, and um, I was playing quite well, and uh, I've never scored throughout the whole game, right? So one of my friends, he actually just passed me the ball, juked everyone out, passed me the ball, and I'm pretty sure I either dunked it or I lay, lay, lay up it. I, I don't even know how to say it, but yeah, I, I, I think it was a layup or something like that. But, you know, I do play basketball. I am a point guard, so you know, it, it was really cool because afterwards I was celebrating all that stuff. I have no clue what happened because uh, my dad woke me up and uh, told me to go to school. So I was like, oh, I had such a good dream, too. I was I was just really pumped uh, to actually go into another dream. So my other dreams were just really weird. I'm pretty sure I could control them all, too. So I'm pretty sure they were lucid dreams. But yeah. So I did pretty good this game. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do another gameplay commentary like this or if I'm going to be a, doing a live commentary. And most likely, if I ever do do a live commentary, uh, that's when I have a really, really good topic or something like that. So usually the bad things about live commentaries are that you mess up and stutter a lot. Although I already stutter a bunch in my commentaries uh, that are not live, so I don't know. But yeah, I've been making a bunch of GFX, especially for um, me or myself. And uh, actually, I've planned out a few things. I've tried to put a video or a custom thumbnail into my videos. But what happens is that usually you're allowed to do it at the first video, right? But it said I need more experience in YouTube. Like you need to, you know, I guess have more videos up to actually be able to have the custom thumbnail. So yeah. And usually for whatever reason I hate this, I upload this uh, these videos off of my editing software straight to YouTube and what happens it, is it gets stuck on 95% processing. I've uploaded 
like all of my videos I have, which is two right now at this point in time. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but right now while I'm recording this video, I only have two videos up and both of those videos probably took more than two times to upload or two tries to upload it. It took so long to upload and re-upload and stuff like that and it kept messing up. The second time, I actually private this video, but it just kept getting stuck. It was messed up and all that stuff and the music was too loud. So I just had a bunch of problems with it. And yeah, it was just really aggravating, especially not being able to have my 60 FPS. Cause if I do upload it on the Google Chrome, um, you know, website or whatever you guys want to use or the YouTube website to upload it. Uh, what happens is that it takes like a thousand hours and just w takes way too long and I don't want to wait that long. But when I do it off of like um, my editing software, it just takes about 30 minutes. But still waiting that long and keep doing it constantly and constantly and fixing your videos and all that is really aggravating. Some of you guys might know what I'm talking about, but yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe and comment on this video. And also, um, I'll possibly do the new series later but if you guys don't know what i'm talking about check my last video out it'll be in the description and also in my outro so click if you guys want so i'll see you guys later peace out